Wigglytuff's rollout can be incredibly powerful if you know how to use it. Rollout can bounce off of walls to hit enemies multiple times and move all over the map all while shielded. This power comes at a price. In open areas with no terrain around, rollout will be a lot less useful. Sing is almost always taken over rollout because Sing is good no matter the terrain. But if you understand which parts of the map you can control with rollout, you will unlock a very fun and aggressive playstyle for Wigglytuff. One of the most satisfying ways to get massive value out of rollout is to use it between two parallel walls to create an infinite bounce setup. If you can catch an enemy inside a trap like this, you'll do so much damage while knocking up your opponents over and over. Rollout allows Wigglytuff to jump into the action from really far away just by setting up a chain of bounces into the battle. The easiest way to do this with a single bounce is to find a wall running along the direction you'd like to go and hit it with a shallow angled bounce. If you bounce with too sharp of an angle, you won't end up getting very far. If you're trying to maximize the distance traveled, then make sure you also hit the wall near the end of the roll rather than at the beginning. Most of the walls in this game have janky surfaces that aren't perfectly flat, so don't be surprised when a bounce sends you off in an unintended direction. Part of playing Rollout Wiggly is learning to make the most out of those crazy spots you end up in. Escaping the action is pretty much the same as jumping into the action, but in reverse. You're still looking for a wall you can bounce off of to go as far as possible. Corridors like this can be used to get pretty far by bouncing an extra time off of a wall. Don't forget that sometimes you'll have to just roll away without bouncing off of anything to survive. The most fun rollout setups are ones that start off as a setup to do a bit of damage at the beginning, but end as an approach or an escape. You can reliably predict one or two bounces with rollout, and that's enough to plan out a setup that allows you to approach an enemy, then immediately retreat. Going for rollouts like this is really safe because you always end up rolling towards your side of the map in the end. Rollout allows Wiggly to completely control areas where it's possible to bounce multiple times. In areas with less terrain, like on goals or in the jungle, you'll be struggling to land even one good bounce. You really have to focus on punishing enemies when they're in a good rollout spot, and unfortunately you'll be relying on teammates to come help you when it's time to defend your goal or your jungle. I knew that my friend Aiden would be down to play Crustle, so I asked them to help me make rollout more consistent by making our own walls with Crustle's Rock Tomb. We made a few cool plays, but I think we need more practice before we make rollout as consistent as Sing. Cool! That was kinda dope. Yeah. <laughs> This man land just went super Saiyan, bro. Okay, leveling up, leveling up. Come on, get me Dazzling Gleam. Alright, we have Dazzling Gleam. That's huge. That's how you do it! Actually getting them. My bad. I can trap him here. Oh, can't dead. do anything against. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm not even dead there. <laughs> Bro. Oh my gosh. Dude. 